everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions and today I'm going to show you what I use for a VPN when I need to access the deep web. First we're going to double check what location and what IP address we're showing up as to the outside world. To do that go to whatismyip.com. You can see there that it shows me as based in Auckland, New Zealand, which is in fact true. Now let's change this to be somewhere else so that when we want to use Tor and go on the deep web, we can be hidden behind a fake IP address. I'm now going to use a VPN called Private Internet Access. Go to www.privateinternetaccess.com, sign up to their basic plan. This does come with a cost, but to get good quality VPNs, you're going to need to pay a small amount. So go ahead and register, get all signed up and log in, and then go to the My Account page and then download the installer. You then need to log in with your particular username that they've given you and the password that you registered with. When you've logged in on the application and you've pressed save, you can then choose whatever country you want to be represented as to the internet. And in turn, what IP address you'll be using when you connect to the Tor browser. That's all there is to it really with the VPN. So just go ahead, select your country. It can be any country, just obviously Maybe don't choose the one that you're currently in. So I'm just going to choose Belgium for this example. So when you go back to whatismyip.com, you'll see that instead of coming up as Auckland, New Zealand, it comes up as Brussels, Belgium, with a totally different IP address. That's all you need to hide yourself. Now go ahead and download the Tor browser by going to Google, type in Tor browser bundle or Tor browser, go to their site, press download, Wait for it to eventually install, it can take a while because the VPNs don't tend to be the fastest of connections. When you finish the install and you've run the browser, you're now using it hidden behind a VPN. As always, if you're going to use a VPN, just know that even the most secure VPNs are prone to compromise. So just bear that in mind and don't do anything stupid or illegal online. Thank you very much, this has been Adam from Ads Productions with a very quick video about the VPN that I use whenever I want to go on the Tor browser, which isn't really that much, but I thought I'd show you anyway.